let's continue with a bit of um, considerations, let's say. What about uh, if you want to compare these annuities and more specifically the expected present values of these annuities? What if you want to compare these uh, for different payment frequencies? And I wrote a specific ordering down over here. So let's assume that M is equal to four. That means if we work with the contract that pays amply, we're going to split the year into four equal time periods. And we're going to pay, for instance, at time zero, one over four, one over two, three, out of, uh, three over four, right? And what you can then show is that the following ordering must hold. And what I want to do with this sheet and the next is give a little bit of intuition about uh, why the particular whole uh, ordering like this should be, should be valid. And first of all, there is, of course, a lot of notation on this sheet. So we need to make sure that we understand what is meant with each of the symbols here on the sheet. So we've got in the middle the A bar X. So that's a continuous product. Right, issued to a policyholder HX, continuously payable as long as you are alive. Here at the right hand side, we've got the A double dot X. So that is the annuity product that pays annually at the beginning of the year, as long as you are alive. And at the very uh, left hand side, we've got AX. That's the product that pays annually, but at the end of the year, right? And then somewhere in between, we've got the AX without the dots four. So that product pays uh, every quarter, but at the end of the quarter. And the last one to refer to is the A double dot with the four. So that life annuity pays every quarter, but at the beginning of the quarter. And this ordering tells me which product is the most expensive to buy. So the most expensive to buy, that means which product has the largest expected present value, right? And it turns out that that's going to be the A double dot X. So that means the product that pays at the beginning of the year and pays annually, right? So can we first of all um, make sense of the fact that, um, or let me put it differently. Huh? So, so one of the things we need to keep in mind here, if we want to come up with this ordering, one of the things we need to keep in mind is that, of course, a payment that you do earlier is more expensive than a payment that you do later. And because if you do the payment later, you've got the financial discounting factor that plays. If the interest rates are positive, that helps you to, um, to make this um, cheaper, if you want, in terms of its uh, EPV. So that's one of the things you need to keep in mind. And the second thing is that if you pay the full amount at the beginning of the year, or if you pay the amount continuously over time, for example, or if you pay this cash flows, uh, not um, if you do not pay the cash flow of one euro in, uh, as a whole, but you, you split it into installments of one over four, then if you die within a certain year, then that's going to ha have an influence on how much of this one euro for that particular year you will receive. For example, in the year that you die, this product A double dot X will do the one euro at the beginning of the year in which you die, right? So you will receive this whole complete one euro. But if you look at the immediate, yeah, at the immediate uh, annuity, there the one euro will only be paid at the end of the year. So during the year that you die, you will not receive this one euro in your final year of living. Right? So that makes this product without the dots immediately cheaper than its counterpart that pays at the beginning of the year. Right? So there are two things to keep in mind. There is the financial discounting. So the later you do a payment, the, the cheaper you can make it when you express it in terms of the EPV. And we have to take into account what about the payment frequency and what happens in this uh, year of death of my policyholder. So I'm trying to, I'm going to try to summarize these two findings on the next sheet. So this is the intuition, first bullet, because of the time value of money, the present value of an annuity with earlier payments is higher than an annuity with later payments. 
And that's this idea about if you do the one euro, if you have to pay it immediately at time zero, then that is more expensive than having to pay the one euro at the end of the first year, right? That's the time value of money. And on the other hand, in the year that my policyholder dies, these different annuities that I had in my ordering, they pay different amounts. For example, if X dies after seven months, and M is equal to four. So we reason in quarterly periods. So what happens then that the annuity due, uh, which pays at the beginning of each year, there the one euro is paid for, death, for the year of death. It's paid at the start of that year. But with the quarterly annuity due, if you die seven months during that particular year, you will get one, year, one out of four euro at time zero, at time one over four, and at time one over two. So in total, you will receive 0 0.75 euro as a policyholder, which is already less expensive and then in case your annuity product has to pay the one euro at the start of the year of death uh, in the annuity due setting. If you work with a continuous annuity, you will have to pay seven out of 12 uh, of the annual amount. If you pay with a quarterly immediate annuity, you would pay one over four euro at time one over four and at time one over two. So in total, you would only pay 0 0.5 euros, right? And if you pay, if you work with the, an annual immediate annuity in the year of death, as a policyholder, you would not receive a payment because the payment would normally be done at the end of the year in case you are alive. And that's not the case, of course, in the year of that. So putting that all together, we got the ordering where the annuity due annually is the most expensive. Then we've got the quarterly annuity due. Then we've got the continuous annuity. We've got the quarterly immediate annuity and the annual immediate annuity is the cheapest. Yeah? So that gives a bit of intuition to the ordering that I had on the, on the previous sheet.